This is Eddie. You're in the vape shack. Welcome to hashtag break it down, vape it up. Today we're going to be using the Simrail collection and we're going to be packing it full of banana kush. Enjoy. This is Eddie, 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 Eddie. Break it down, break Eddie, it Eddie. down, vape it up. Break it down, vape it up. I came in all braggado, now I'm acting too humble. My tracks are choppy like kung fu. When rap, I'm like you res on calls on tracks. I'm just like this one. Dude. So this is the head chef cyborg, my new grinder. Thought I'd give it a first try today on this video. First off, we'll pack it with the banana kush. Or your fun too. I made some music to bond to. Now I'm ready to start thinking they can run through. Now I've grinded it up. I'll show you the grinder. It's a four-piece grinder with anti-thread technology on it. So pretty much what that means is it's got like a quarter thread rather than a full thread. So as you can see there, you got a thread here, here. So literally just clips in, clips off. So it's all ground up. So now I'll show you the Dynabax. So here we have the three Simrail stems. This one is just a stem, and these two are vortexes, titanium and wood. So we've got red Galaxy Burl, titanium, and purple Galaxy Burl. So the difference between this one and these two is that this one is just a straight through stem, when these two have integrated cooling coils inside of them and holes. So the reason is, is when you're ripping, you then take your finger off of the hole to rip it through, cover the hole back up, fill a load of vapor in there, going around the coil, let go, pull through. But then with the original stem, what I used to do is I will either pull it, take it out of my mouth, then start ripping it again so that my mouth acts as a rip hole. Or on a bong, I'll put it in the bong and then rip it and keep pulling it out and dropping it back in to kind of get that build up of pressure inside the Dynavac. So I'll take apart one of these vortexes just so you can see the coil inside. So if you've never used a Dynavac before, this is a Dynavac tip. So that comes off. You pack your herb in there. So if we take this apart, we'll be able to see the coil inside. So take that off. And inside there, you can see the coil. I'll try and get something to pull it out. So here's the coil. So that's inside the vortex. So put that back inside so that we can pack the bowl. So with any Dynavac, the way that I pack mine is I will take it off, take the lid off, and then suck the herb into the chamber like a straw. So I'll make sure there's nothing on the side when I put my cap back on. Titanium vortex to pack now. This time I got to remember to put my finger over the hole when I'm sucking the herb in. Second one pack. That's three Simrail stems packed. So in general, when you use a Dynavac, you use a blowtorch. So before we start, I'll just pack the bowl up, weigh it, and then hit it with this blowtorch and show you how I do it. So I'll put the titanium one on the scale. So it says 19.3 grams. So I'll zero that, pack the bowl, and then see how much it weighs. It says 0.148 G. So for this, I'm gonna change my tip just because this is a nice clean one. With the induction heaters, you don't really get any sort of marks on it. So this is an old one I use just to demonstrate the blowtorch. So what I normally do is I rest it in this palm of my hand, like that, and then rotate it with my thumb and forefinger. So with the blowtorch, I'll aim the hottest part of the flame at about halfway on the cap, aiming towards the tip. Like that. 
off, you know, give it a hit. Oh, Clips. Clips. Silly rabbit. rabbit. I'll show you the two induction Clips. heaters that I have. So the first one I got is a Fat Piggy Custom made of wood. The second one is a French Touch Vapor. So first off, we'll use the original Dyna Stem by Simrail. Just so I can give you a quick go on both of these. See what happens with a Dynavap is you heat the tip until it clicks and when it clicks you're ready to go. But what I normally do is I'll click and give it a few seconds so I disrespect the click and then I will get a bit more of a cloud out of it than say the standard click. So I'll show you first on the Fat Piggy induction heater. Pretty much you put it in the hole, push it down, light turns on, wait for it to click. First click I don't pull it, I'll just pack it and I'll leave it now just to get the bowl going. It's the first hit you don't really get anything out of it so I put it on the magnet just for it to cool down quicker so now we click so now we're gonna go for the first one I'll put it on there wait for it to click I'm the person that you want to be want to spit a ball with me want to feel my energy so now the second hit on the Simrail stem I'm the person that you want to be Now going for the third hit on the Simrail stem. So the Dynavaps, even though the bowls are so small, they pack such a punch. I'd say if you're getting into vaping, a Dynavap, any Dynavap is the first vape you should go for. So I'm gonna go for the fourth hit on the Simrail stem. So say normally you can do about four or five hits on each bowl, but because I'm doing it over the click, it's getting hotter quicker, so I'm only doing four bowls. So number four. Every day I write about maybe 16. So now it's clicked. I'll get rid of all of the AVB inside of it, and we'll move on to the titanium vortex. Shout out to Bladed Vapo on Instagram, he's made me this stand and many other stands. So next we're going to move on to the Titanium Vortex. I love this Titanium Vortex. I love the way that Simrails anodized it, it just looks beautiful. I don't know if you'll be able to see it too well there. So the Titanium Simrail Vortex, same again with the coil inside, but this time we have to remember about a rip hole. So we'll go for the first hit on the French touch vapor induction heater. The world's in the panic to concern you. Just wanna be the biggest burner. Once again, when the first bowl goes off, I don't hit it, I just let it sit there. So we've now clipped again, so we're gonna go for the first proper hit. When I heat the vortexes up, I make sure that the holes are always pointing away from me so I can remember where to put my finger. In Sydney, stoned at night, yo. Got my vape in my hand, I hold it tight, though. Going nothing really in the first hit there. We'll go for the second one. A lot of flavour, though. A lot of flavour. Very banana y, strawberry tasting. I'm chilling on a daily basis. Middle finger up to the races. Second hit. I'm chilling, do you wanna get high? I'm chilling, brush some OG Kush. Trying to rest me for smoking. Now for hit number three on the titanium vortex. Plane, aim for the stars, you might hit the moon. Let my words manifest before you consume some more shrooms. Think about it deep then. So I'd say on the second proper hit of the second bowl, I'm feeling at a nice level right now. Probably the same as two mighty caps, I would say, or maybe a balloon on the volcano. So I'll go for the third proper hit. I lose in my mind, life went black and white, I went color blind. Heading down a beaten track, no signs. This that bitch life changed in no time. So don't dwell on the past, my brother. I don't have the chill from the gut. So I'll say this is the fourth and final hit for the titanium vortex. I'm chilling, but I don't sip lean. I'm chilling on a daily basis. Middle finger up to the races. I'm chilling, I don't want them vibes. I'm chilling, do you wanna get high? So now that's cooled down enough, I'll take the cap off and get rid of that AVB as well. So now I'm gonna use the purple galaxy burl. 
vortex again so remember about the hole I'm gonna use the fat piggy one again so we'll go for the first hit on the vortex purple galaxy burl hole at the front same again just heat it up leave it on there to click again so we've just clicked there so we'll go for the first bowl Accident and emergency. So going for the second hit with the purple galaxy bow. Hi, this is Eddie. Vape into the atmosphere. So now we're going to go for the third hit on the galaxy bow. Sage, ADHD, control man, can shed that weight. Lot cake got me folded, come on from the shade. Man, I'm solder, the heat rises, I feel so now we're going to go on the fourth hit on the galaxy bow vortex last hit pilgrim's choice you hear my voice ghost clouds no rose royce i kiss a neck i make a moist so for the next couple bowls i'm going to use the the water pipe adapter that simrel sent me it has a 10 mil 14 mil 18 mil intervals on it so we'll use this first on the titanium and I'll use this on this little bubbler here. So for this 10 mil bubbler, I'll take the insert out of the water pipe adapter. So then I can put that right in there. Like that. So now let's give the first bowl a hit. Vape life is the theme and the company. I keep a sword for police if they come for me. I don't conform to the standards of your laws They're flawed as long as it's only money that opens doors I'm so now we're gonna go for a first proper bowl Core, I vape strains until I like comatose on the floor Me and Eddie, like rock steady And bebop vape in the medley Eyelids heavy, I coast and float away So a lot smoother for a bubbler, for sure So now we're gonna have the second bowl and I'm happy with dreads nappy And your bitch calling me pappy Because we're just the shit without a nappy bitch oh. Oh. So we're gonna go for hit number three Now we're gonna hit the fourth and final hit on this bowl. The vandals, I see the scandals, don't need no candles, this shit is lit. Lit like bonfire night on a rainy day, fill up the plenty with the wedding cake and vape. So for the next two bowls, I'm going to use the splitter on the bomb. And because I got two induction heaters, I can heat up two Dynavaps at the same time. So now we're going to go for the first proper hit. Now they've both clicked again. Yeah, I pray to Jesus like I pray to Buddha. Mind running stupid, hoping drugs will get me through it. Insomniac flow, I'm spitting, but these haters snooze and me and clips coming up, and you know how we gonna do it. I'm playing these beats and my mind can get to wandering. Wishing I was a little kid so I can see the. So the first hit, a lot of flavour from both of the Dynavaps. I need to remember to put the hole at the front as I just messed up there. So now they're both clicked again, we'll go for the second hit. Got homies serving time and I got others having babies and I'm thinking to myself, God damn, because someone save me. But I just wish that I could tell you those. Cause this is the greatest story ever told. Uh, yeah. So after they've both clicked, we'll go for the third heat up. The amount of times that I'd forget the click the second time and go for another heat up and then I'd just be like, oh no, I didn't click it again. And then you burn it out. So just remember to always put it on that magnet afterwards. Let it click out just so you can go for that click back in. Hit number three. Constantly injected with the customer's hostility, fragility, your rules leave the accused towards divinity. The trinity is used to soothe the wounds of productivity. And no one knows the roles the clever chose. But listen to the realest story ever told. Uh. So now we're going to go for the fourth hit. 
night vision on the creep like a splinter cell Rock splinter C Rock your brain, rock your mind, rock your inner self Get my vision for pennies in a wishing well Ain't got time to wish them well cause I'm on a mission a Little fish in a big pond, you see my vision See the frames on my eyes, I ain't throwing shade Cloud from the vape, your bread is all the same Line up the fucking cane, I line them up to pass the vape So that was much more of a bigger hit then I held the click on for a little bit longer I'm gonna go for a fifth hit on this one I can taste it's a bit burny But I just wanna get the last hit to be quite big DMT, I'm with the crew in the middle I crave a new level going off like a kettle I hope you enjoyed this Break It Down, Vape It Up. I'm Ebba Spliffer Hands. I'm really stoned. Thanks for watching. You ain't vaping if you ain't choking. <coughs> <coughs>